Hey everyone, this is what I've been leading up to with my last couple shorts. This is the 2DS XL Hacked. I have my homebrew launcher here, as you can see. Very cool, very cool. The Kirby background you're seeing is a custom made community wallpaper. Very nice, very nice. Shout out to the creators, I don't know them. The FBI launcher helps me run the applications such as Mario Kart 7, Donkey Kong Returns. Very good games, very good games. And games is like this. This helps you save your files. And there's also a theme manager. Very good, very good. Maybe you can get that from the name of it. Universal Updater, always make sure you're up to date. And it's very nice, very nice. I have other things on there too. Pokebank, plan on getting some X and Y games in there. Now I want to show you guys how exactly to do this. Because I know that there are questions out there like, how do you do this? How do I make it, you know, I hear it's very easy. And it is very easy. And I'm going to show you how. So, first thing you want to do is make sure you have a big enough, you know what I say, SD card. So, I have the 32 gigabyte, uh, 32 gigs is probably the best one for you. I'm not sure about 16 or 6. I think 6 is a little, a little much because I had a very small one, and that's what I had for mine. So, I would recommend going with 32 or mm, 32 gigs is, uh, is the biggest. So, I would recommend getting that if you don't already. Second thing you're going to need is a SD card converter. Which I don't have on me at the moment, but you'll need that as well. You can look that up. And then you're going to go to this hacking guide. You're going to just click get started, and it's going to be right here. And this will take you basically through what exactly you have to do to get started, what you need, what I just said, for you know. And this is what I used, and I, it, I won't lie, it did take me about 10, 15 tries before I actually got it to start the process of hacking it. So, yeah, it is not hard as long as you follow the exact steps it says. And I'm going to show you where exactly I get my CIA files, which will make sense if you follow the guide and finish it. It took me a while to, like, before when I first started, I was like, what is this? What is going on? I was overwhelmed. But then as I went, and I just followed the guide and just took it slow, you know, put some music on. That helps a lot. It makes the time go faster. It makes it a lot easier to understand. Now, what I'm going to show you is the hardest thing I couldn't find when I finally got it homebrewed. This is called the H Shop. The H Shop. It's actually kind of a replacement for the free shop, which I wasn't around to have because I didn't know about how modding before then. So basically the modding community had a free shop, which was like this, that got shut down. And it's only a matter of time, probably until the H shop gets the Axe 2 from Nintendo. So I highly recommend go to this website. All you gotta do is once you install the FBI, oops, sorry. You will install the FBI app on your screen. Let's look at it on your 2DS, right here. Can't be just, can't be smooth. <laughs> this will help you scan QR codes such as, let me help you out here, let me show you guys. And I'm just gonna make sure that, I don't care how sloppy I made this video, I just wanna help the rest of the community. Before the Nintendo eShop shuts down for good, I wanna make sure everyone knows how they can get their games. Uh, you know, Nintendo, sorry man. Sorry, kid, but enough is enough. You're fucking outrageous prices, dude. You guys can't see that. What am I doing here? So once you get into the FBI file, you are going to say, you see this, uh, S, this QR code right here. You can scan that with this if you go down to remote install. Then you go scan QR code, you can scan it right there and it will automatically say, do you want to download Mario Kart 7? It's legit CIA. Make sure it is a CIA, nothing else. If it does not have .CIA at the end, do not download it. That's just a warning. <laughs> And yeah, that's basically the way to set it up, the way to download games, make sure you don't get lost, and just general coolness of what you can do with uh, a 2DS XL that's hacked. Uh, take it easy, guys.